all right people what is good we back for another one we are back for another one this is another demon slayer review i'm your boy mufasa uncaged and i'm here with my boy atc uh atc say what's up to the people shout out to socials all that shit how y'all doing good folks uh, you can find me live on YouTube at ATC TV, and you can find me on Insta at ATC underscore NKZ. You good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can find all his shit and link, link in the description. All that will be in the description. You know, if you want to connect with us and get into one of these reviews, you know, hit me, hit me on Instagram through the DM, and I might just let you in, and you might be able to participate in one of these reviews. You know, I'm looking for more people to talk about. I love having more people on things like this. More opinions means more, uh, 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 uh well, more opinions means much more uh, uh, voices I get to hear about. Uh, but anyway, let's talk about this episode three. <laughs> of Demon Slayer, man. So, basically, in this episode, it wasn't too much copy and paste. It was, well, it was copy and paste, but it was some new scenes to this. And we start the episode off where episode two ended with uh, t in t uh, with Tangro's uh, dream. But um, they go into Zenitsu's dream first. Let's talk about Zenitsu's dream first, because that's where it did start. Well, Zenitsu, you feel me? I, let me say this one thing about Zenitsu, man. He one of the homies you gotta watch out for, cause he'll he'll try to fuck your sister, your mama probably. Like if they look good enough, you know. Like <laughs> I, I just couldn't trust Zenitsu around my family, bro. <laughs> yeah, he creeping for sure. He trying to slide up on something. Exactly, and I'm like, man, and, and it's like uh, Zenitsu, you know, you know, like. Uh, 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 Nezuko is like younger, you know, so it's just, I don't know, man. You're looking kind of R. Kelly ish in a, in a way. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> looking a little bit R. Kelly ish in a way, but man. Anyway, you gotta, uh, uh, like, he, he's uh, out, like, in his dream, he's like with Nezuko, and she's not a demon, she's just like actually back to her human self. And she's talking. She ain't. She ain't like a dog no more, and nothing like that. <laughs> they frolicking through the garden, trying to have my little playtime outside. He carrying her around and chauffeuring, showing off that nice chivalry, you know. Man, being a fucking simp. Nah. <laughs> no, but um. <laughs> no, but um. Basically, yeah, he doing all that. He's showing her a good time. He taking her, he, man, giving her piggyback rides everywhere and shit. You know, doing doing his his so called boyfriend needs, I guess. Trying to trying to be a good boyfriend, I guess, in in his dream world. And uh, then we go to Inosuke's dream. Inosuke's dream was just random and wild, like like it was hella. He, he had he had these niggas as uh, human like they were human uh, uh, animals and shit, you know. Like you had Nosuke, uh with his regular boar mask and all that. And then you had um, then he had Nezuko. Nezuko was what the, I, I forgot what animal she was, bro. But it was hella funny. Like I think she was like a squirrel or something like that. And then Tanjiro, of course, Tanjiro and Zenitsu was uh, animals and shit. <laughs> like that Nelsuke's dream was hella wild, man. It was, it was funny as fuck that he had all that shit. He had all that shit um going on in the dream. Like he's a fucking wild dude, bro. Like what the fuck goes on in your mind? And apparently it's this. <laughs> it, uh, it's dark, gritty. It's 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 it's, it's no light up in there. He's got the train in there looking like a spider creature. He's calling the uh, the group the underlings. You know, he's giving them out nuts and and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm like, what the hell, man? What the hell is wrong with you? But you know, he he has some weird ass dreams, and they didn't go too much into their dreams. I thought they would have showed more uh, going into the episodes, like on their dream or or like we gave them more time, I guess. But they didn't, you know. But, uh, like, how does Tanjiro feel about like Zenitsu just? Like really wanted to hit on his sister, bro. Like I don't know if I could accept that, bro. <laughs> or like, bro, you the homie. Like I, I ain't saying you ain't 
you ain't good for my sister, but I'm just like, bro, you a little bit thirsty, you too thirsty for, for somebody who's younger than you, man. Chill out. ID and, show. Um, oh my God. But anyway, <laughs> let's talk about Tandro's dream. Tandro is back with his family and all the rest of his siblings. Let me go and say this. This man, Tandro's daddy, did not know nothing about a pullout game. He had like six kids. That nigga was shooting up that club whenever he can. <laughs> that, nigga was, that nigga was letting it rip like a blade blade in his mama. But um, yeah, man, like he's there with his family. He uh, he the big bro, of course, and everybody's like depending on him, ask, asking him to do little shit, this and that. And he's just there, just like wondering, like, it, was it all a dream? Like, did all that shit that happened, like, really happen? He 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 just enjoying time with his siblings and everybody else, all his loved ones and shit, you know. And you know, it gets it, like like as it, like like that can take a toll on somebody. Like even I feel like even Batman, <laughs> even Batman will like see through the bullshit, but at the same time he'll feel that pain. He'll feel that pain of just like, damn, man, this is like my family, you know. I can't, I can't believe this shit is actually happening. Like, I, like I see y'all die, I seen y'all dead, y'all was blood covered up, all that shit, but y'all actually alive. You feel me? So he kind of just going along with it, you know. And uh, 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 who else dream? Oh yeah, they went into Ren Goku's dream too. They went to Ren Goku's dream a little bit more. And <laughs> let, I'll, let me talk about this dream before we get back to Tanjiro's dreams. Rengoku's dream was uh, was a little wholesome in a way, because uh, you see him training training his uh, little bro, and he just like like that's big brothers do, you know, you, you, you train your uh, little brother to become the next Hashira or another Demon Slayer, you know. So he there with his little brother, and then in the corner, in the in the cuts, you see the little bitch. That invaded his dream and shit, <laughs> and she's looking for the spiritual core. Now the spiritual core is basically is is how like people like how the demon is killing off people, and on on the whole train. So this bitch needs to find the spiritual core, and she ends up finding the spiritual core, bro. And she rips through like some hole some hole in his dream, and when she ripped through the hole, the whole shit was fucking on fire and shit which i thought was clean because i'm like what the f this nigga really is a fire ass nigga he just heat everything bruh everything is heat with this nigga um what else so basically the little girl goes in and she just starts like she was about to take out the core and all that shit bro bro <laughs> He's about to take out the core, all that shit. End up getting choked the fuck up. <laughs> like he start, he started choking this little bitch out, like she was the uh, like 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 what the fuck? I, no, she, he he started choking this little bitch up. Basically, like he was the Undertaker. He's about to choke slam this bitch. You can see the veins yeah. popping out and everything. And um, what else you see? You see um. Uh, uh 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 like like at that part i was just like i knew ren goku was was just that nigga because i'm like i wanted to see how did he know i like how did you know like somebody just invaded your dream man like like nobody knew nobody you know like like i will I, I wanted them to go more in depth with that i wanted to see like if he really knew the bitch was lurking around or he felt her presence shit like that you know but um Anyway, let's go back to Tandro's dream. We, we go back to Tandro's dream and we basically see him with his family and he's doing his usually big brother duties and uh, just having dinner with him and all that shit, you know. And then back into the real world, you see Nezuko uh, come out the little box, come out of her fucking <laughs> her, her coffin. <laughs> he comes out into, into play. And she sees that Tendro is asleep and everybody else is asleep on the train. So then she's steady just trying to wake this nigga up. You feel me? She fucking uh, pat. She uses his hand to 
to pat her on the head and try to like wake him up. He doesn't end up waking up. And then, you know, she she just goes for the extra. She just start she headbutted this dude. <laughs> she ends up headbutting this dude. Boy, this man got a hard fucking head and she ends up bleeding. <laughs> I was like, bruh, what the fuck? This thing is hard. Like, he's the real definition of a hard-headed nigga. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, his head is definitely made of stone. Nah, for real. I'm like, god damn. <laughs> but, uh... Then, then like, Nezuko does it again. And, like, sets sets him on fire. Does a little fire shit. And... Eventually, like, in the, in the dream world, that, like, reawakens... Uh, uh, his whole demon slayer, uh, uh, not mindset, but like it, 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 it alerts him into thinking like, oh shit, this is a dream. This is actually a dream because then he, you see him in his current clothes that he's wearing the demon slayer outfit and like the kimono he has, and um, basically what, uh, what ends up, up happening, like he, he say, this is all a dream. This isn't real, and he eventually just like runs out the house. Cause he doesn't now he knows he's in a dream so then he just start he runs out the house his his uh siblings are like chasing after him everybody's chasing after him saying like where he's going and like why he has these different clothes why he caught on fire and shit so it kind of it kind of like you know it was just like uh, it, it, it's trying to keep him in but he knows this shit ain't real and eventually you know it gets to it gets to um uh, 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 it gets to a point where he stops running and he stops running so then uh, he stops running and then basically what ends up happening is like his family is trying to convince him to stop and all just stay in the dream you know and this this was like a tearjerker too because this is like dang even though I know y'all not real I, it shouldn't it shouldn't have to be like this I want to stay with y'all but I'm I, but it's nothing like that, you know. So then he he already know he already knew that this was just all a dream. Nezuko, like like this is the, that was the one thing I asked. I'm like, where the hell is Nezuko? Like I, like at that point, I already wouldn't ask like, where is Nezuko? You feel me? Because Nezuko wasn't there. But then eventually Nezuko comes out of nowhere and boom, and she's there. And this is human Nezuko, not demon Nezuko that we know. But uh. Eventually, he 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 just says, "No, nah, this is all fake. This is a dream." He, he he realizes and he keeps running off. And it's a little this this is like a tear. This is like when where like people got real emotional. You might fucking cry or shed a tear. His little brother was just like big big brother. It just and he just had to keep running. He was just crying like, "Yo, I gotta get the fuck out of here." So. So that that shit was hard watching that scene a little bit when I first seen the movie, but um, it seemed like there were some other new scenes, or it just made it seem like everything else was longer, uh, from what the movie showed. But uh, the the part I found that was kind of dope, like his his father is still trying to help him out in the afterlife. I don't know how that happened. I was like, damn. So he still has like some type of touch with pops, you know. And and it seems like later on, and like as we see more and more Tanjiro's uh, uh, journey, I guess we're gonna see more of his dad later on. I, I want to know more about his dad because like you see it, you see it in uh, first like first season, like his dad did beat Muzin, you know. But um, what else? We going uh, 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 oh yeah, the fucking episode basically ends with his dad telling him you have to cut something you have to cut something and tendril's like well i gotta cut something and you know what he ends up cutting his fucking neck yeah the third the, the that's where the episode the, ends you got you got anything to right. add on onto this anything i missed i know i said anything that i missed on on the episode anything you gotta say um thought like you said it was really cool man that his father showed up it was like his subconscious was talking to him and really you know deep diving and letting him know you're not alone you know so that was really cool uh mm -hmm. man y'all should like comment share and subscribe uh, the links are in the description man, sure. man.
Yeah, but um, okay. Uh, I know we didn't do this on the, on the last episode, but um, what would you rate this one? What would you rate like these these episodes? Uh, well, let's rate this episode. We got we got to start doing this in the future too. Like we got to rate episodes. Like what would you rate this episode from like a scale of one to ten? I would give this episode uh, a solid eight. And I'm not going to say a solid 10 because just me seeing it already, you know what I'm saying? And having that feeling of knowing what's going to happen already. Um, but at the same time, yeah, solid eight, man. Good ass episode. Mm -hmm. Check it out, man. It's worth watching. Even if you've seen the movie, it's still worth watching. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think I can go with an eight. I, like, I feel like I might, <laughs> like, I, I might be a little harsh just because I already, yeah, exactly like what you said. I've seen it in the movie and i'm like it, it could be a seven it could be a 7.5 like it's it's somewhere in between a seven and an eight like if if you didn't watch the movie or even if you did watch the movie you know it was still a good episode all around and seeing uh all, all, all the dreams and shit you know uh but yeah man uh i think this is where we wrap it up we're gonna wrap this episode up into a whole little box and send it off this is uh, Mufasa Uncaged and my boy ATC NKZ, you know, from both of us. Uh, one love, two peace, and uh, we out, people. <laughs>